Hello everyone, Wel welcome to another episode of the Magic Arena run. Today it's the Heliod's Glory Festival and we have the Immortal Sun Emblem this time. So if you somehow missed Ixalan, the Immortal Sun, now an emblem, originally was a 6 mana um, legendary artifact. Meant that players can't activate Planeswalker's loyalty abilities. Um, you get to draw an additional card on your draw step. Your spells cost 1 generic mana less to cast and your creatures get plus 1 plus 1. And we have a um, few key cards that are banned. Um, Fairy Vandal, Norm, no, um, Fairy Vandal, Iron Crag, Pyromancer, Improbable Alliance because they all trigger from being able to draw a second card, which in this format's guaranteed. Narset, even though she can't activate her abilities, she negates the draw card, so also, also wise banned. And Lavinia because you have m most people will not be able to cast their spells early. She kind of defeats the purpose. And at the same time, Planeswalkers with only loyalty abilities are banned. Something I need to remember. I actually tried a sort of fair deck with tokens, and nobody's playing fair in this uh, format. In fact, so I decided to go a bit in the dark side. Probably still, probably still a bit more fair compared to a lot of what I've seen so far. So let's take note that all the one mana artifact creatures are free. So in this format, so let's do a quick look over them. So Ginger Brute would be free. Inquisitive Puppet would be free. Locked Wing Gargoyle would be free. And I... Yeah, th those are all the... one one Those are all the one mana artifact creatures. But wait, there's more. Stone Coil Serpent is free. So it's, oh, that's a, comes down as a 1-1. One, one, but something to keep in mind. Ugin's Conjurant is also free. In fact, I could probably cut a lot of these in favor of these. And we can call it a day. Just some hope to get, out re get things out really fast. That's something to consider. Also note that um, but so basically most of the decks that I've seen pretty much um were mono red running running for a quick um ember cleave which is very very good in considering you can drop a lot of creatures at the drop of a hat and otherwise it's um stacking a lot of um enchantments like all that glitters on top of a creature that that's also a viable place so we're I'm not sure how well we're gonna do with this one. But otherwise, we are gonna run the Cauldron Familiar cycle just to keep up in the keep up the life, as, um, in a manner of speaking. We're otherwise going into a heavy sacrifice team, so we have this cheap creature, Blood Blood Aspirant. So whenever he sacrifices permanent, he grows bigger. That's very relevant for us. Also allows us to ping small creatures by himself, and we have uh, we have our sacrifice engine in Woe Strider, and Witch's Oven, as I mentioned earlier. Bone Crusher Giant, just to add extra value. Also, his stomp is actually a shock, so not bad. Mayhem Devil, ho hopefully will get us there. Rotting Regisaur, just as a one-off big creature. We we're drawing extra cards, so the discarded card is not that punishing. And Agonizing Remorse, maybe. Probably should just have another creature. You'll pretty much see most of your opponent's hand at this point, but we'll give this one a shot. We'll see, what we n we'll see how t well things go or don't. If things go really badly, I'm, you might just, I might just end up running a uh, straight mono red aggro. And actually, cavalcade would be a very good fit here, though. No, I take it back. You'll be, you'll need to run zero casting, zero power creatures just for cavalcade to work. That's not great. So this looks like the all the glitters deck. We got the Legion's End though, so there's something. Let's see if our opponent decides to drop an enchantment. Take note, they're tapped so they can't sack. Kinda wish we can play a second land. But oh well. Let's see what our opponent has. He might have um, God's Willing, which would be interesting. But there, 2 for one and Mystic Forge. So there's also the fairy guide mother. So next turn we can play Cauldron Crashing Drawbridge 1-5. So probably it's like an all-in. Okay. Another allegiance end if we need to, so we'll play the cauldron familiar. And snipe snipe the fairy. Okay, at least we got more things going now. Could use an oven at this point. We 
Let's get Forge into Inquisitive Puppet. Scries to the bottoms to get um, a more useful creature up top. Draws us a Fabled Passage, so... Gonna claim the Firstborn. We don't... Claim the Firstborn, not quite there yet, so let's see. I want to play the Blood Aspirant. I want to play the... The Fabled Passage will be tapped. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Hold on. Playing Claim the Firstborn, we won't be able to sack it anyway. Legions and... Okay, let me just play the Fabled Passage. It just grows him. It's not the ping counter. It's not the ping quite yet. So let's get ourselves a swamp. We can legions and you know no point legions ending this one. I, I I learned the hard way that this trigger this does not cost mana. I can legion end the drawbridge, or I can just wait for him to have a two for one. Yeah, let's wait. Taking a while. Sorry, sorry for our for, to our opponent for that. Opponent goes for the glass casket on Cauldron Familiar. Okay. Now he can tap the drawbridge to buff this one. Oh, another casket. Now he can tap to give haste, but he'll need to decide whether to pump or to swing. I'm going for the pump, so that's a 2-4. So yeah, glass casket. So yeah, one mana removal is very good. We probably should have a blast zone. We do have the option to. Okay, got ourselves another aspirant. Got ourselves a fabled passage. So, got an aspirant. Fabled passage. Activate the ability. Let's get red this time. So can claim I can claim this tap give haste tap sack ping okay it's a bit complicated oh wait nope we don't have enough mana probably should just legions end the overseer this let's just see what he has and send mystic forges and then all that glitter so Prob I could just cast the Bone Crusher just to, so we have something. Yeah, let's just cast the Bone Crusher. Because next turn, Mountain, Claim, Ping to Sack. So our opponent will need, probably will just um, play the, all that glitters here. We'll take a very big hit. Okay, opponent uh, milling their life. Iron Bully, Menace, plus one, plus one, on itself. So we take 10. We're not gonna block. Because, okay, our opponent has no Okay, got ourselves a witch's oven. Play the oven for zero. We'll get two tokens out of this too, so we can actually start buying some health back. Also, I will swing with it first. Opponent blocks. Sacks makes a human. Oh, doesn't sack. Doesn't 
saves and turn because we might need to start sacking these for life. Opponent plays Ginger Brute. Pays off the top. Pro Digging for another artifact, I suppose. If it's an all that glitters, we can border Bone Crusher Giant in response. Glass Casket. Sure. Shambling Suit. We can at least deal with the suit. Iron Bully. Wait, who's he choosing? I'm guessing we probably should have Blast Zone also considering all these permanents. Opponent goes for the Stone Coil Serpent as a 1-1. Yeah, he's really digging through the entire library. Gets haste, we will take... Yeah, whoa. Nine... Yeah, there's plenty of... Yeah, there's plenty. And the crashing drawbridge was a kick. kick. We should have taken out the drawbridge. So, something we learned for the next game. Still yet to get the win here, but I'm s not quite frustrated yet. But it it looks like um wh whoever came up with these deck lists, yeah, they they really thought this through. So I'm concerned with this one because we without red, you know what? Let's go for it. We at least hit for we at least hit for two damage. It's We at least hit for 4 damage, excuse me. Let's see what our opponent has in response. Also red. Bone Crusher Giant, okay. Answers that, but that, so we still have 2 more damage on board. Got ourselves an oven just in case. We got ourselves a Fabled Passage. We will, we need that passage. We need that oven. So next turn I'm probably gonna just play Regisaur because he's too he's too big. I could also play Agonizing Remorse, see if um our opponent has an Ember Cleave up top. I'm gonna place the Steamkin into another red spell, Torch Courier. Okay, we'll let that resolve. We'll take two damage of our own. I'm guessing I will play the Regisaur. Cause I can also just drop them one I can also just drop oh, he's holding it back. Okay. That's reasonable. And the cauldron's familiar, so we got the we got the in, that engine going. And So we're just gonna go for the big, big one. Yeah, we'll pass the turn. At this point, it's our job to just be really annoying. We're gonna see if we can go for the oven. Note that we cannot allow our opponent to cast too many creatures. Well, I guess we can let our opponent cast creatures now. We will hit with the Agonizing Remorse next turn. Or I could just willingly... Tr Okay, so end of turn. Cauldron from the sack. Familiar. Bring back. We have another food anyway, so it, it's not like we're gonna lose the engine if our opponent um, snipes a cauldron familiar right here and there. In fact, it's two less damage towards us, so I'm willing to take it. Discard the mountain. Let's draw our additional card. We got our Woe Strider. 
I didn't know they ginger boots, so... Let's agonizing remorse first. Let's get rid of that ember cleave. Simon sprint. Yeah, sure. Also a quick scry. Light of the stage, light of the stage. Storm's rat, storm's rat. I'm gonna... Okay, light up. Okay, helps me more actually, so... I'm not going to take the storm shot. I'm going to take the light up. And then... Okay. How many cards do we have? We have more multiple. So what I'm actually going to do is... Except hey, So this one can actually block. Not a good trade-off. Don't have quite have our Mayhem Devil engine yet. But at least by swinging with the Registrar, if he trades with any of his other creatures, it will bring the Steam... The Steam King will still be at 5-5. Five, five. But you kind of have to swing at this point. There's no reason not to swing. If our opponent double blocks... I'll take... I'm okay with that too. And of course we take out the steam kin. Because that sure gets two tokens. Kinda of expecting that though. So end the turn there. See if we can get past here. At least Cauldron Familiar's job is just to be annoying. Though we can sack once. Storm's Wrath. Make a food token. Then activate sack. Actually, we should have sacrificed the Wolf Strider instead. But now we're going to just sack our board, see if we can get the stuff that we want. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's bend those back to back on Blood Crips. Yeah, technically I did make a mistake. I should have sacked the Cauldron Familiar. Okay, definitely keeping the Legion's End on top. Yeah, we missed out on an extra food token. So, opponent gets tokens. Let's bring back the kitty. And... Let's see if we can draw... Draw our Legion's End. Draw our Mayhem Devil. So take them out and we get more information of our opponent's hand. Anax. If our opponent chooses to play the next Storm's Rat, I will just sack the Mayhem dev Devil to the oven. Just get ourselves extra triggers. Also note, you just need one more mana to get Wolf Strider back. Mm -hmm. Opponent going for the Storm's Rat. That out of the way. Re opponent. So it's our job to be annoying. Come on, give us another land. We gotta claim the firstborn. I'll take that. We got the land also. Probably gonna start playing their big guns now, but we're not at the point where we just have to keep letting 
we just we're just three turns away. We just need to keep getting cauldron from the dead. There's an annex. But if I had to choose, I would definitely choose the artifact that artifact deck from the first game. That was a that that was that was a very good fit. Okay, draw another claim and a mayhem devil. So draw the mayhem devil. Yeah, he sees the right thing on the board. I just sack, bring back, probably a claim on this on the return. So yeah, we managed to. Yeah, we, we managed to overcome that that deck. And we're very happy. So let's keep going. I'm thinking that I probably that this deck probably should have a full the full place of Embered Shield Breaker. So let's see. Yeah, we're keeping this one. We got. We got the turn one cat. That's all I can ask for. Turn two. Now, depending what our opponent plays, I could go turn two Mayhem Devil or turn two Woe Strider or. Oh, opponent has their own oven. They're also in the cat plan. So, Legion's End, not gonna quite do it for us. Land our cat. Cut the Mayhem Devil. Let's play the insurance policy first. We'll play the Woe Strider. Also because we need to we need to dig for lands. Now let's see if we if our opponent's willing to offer to trade cats or if he just blocks and sacks right then and there. So we don't quite get the full engine. And we and yeah, having an active witch's oven well the legion sends really for the mono red or the mono white build. We need to hit our Embred Shield Breaker. I'm thinking Blast Zone is also a very good fit fit here as well. Um so many of the stuff you're gonna take out is either one mana or two mana anyway. Yeah, I would I would fit in Blast Zone's opponent. Goes for the claim. We can sacrifice another creature, but not this. Actually, you know what? Here's the thing. If our opponent just cast a cat... Okay, we'll take the hit. Because our... if our opponent just casts the cat right now... Yeah, because he has to... He might have a second oven, which kind of spoils his plan. But if he only has one oven and casts a... Oh, he doesn't cast a cat at all. Got our own claim. I can play Mayhem Devil, um, bait out. Let's, I, I can just play the Mayhem Devil. Opponent sacks that now. Yeah, kind re, kind of wish that I had the uh, had the extra mana at this. Kind of wish I had the extra black mana. Oh, opponent trades. That's fine. So opponent will have to play a creature just to get them up. Cat parity, if there's such a thing. Also note that every time our opponent sacks off, we will be we will be punishing him slightly. Let's hope we don't get punished by another claim. We really need to have an outlet before we cast claim. Also note that legions end, even though um, these are all reflecting ones and. Well, this one's really a one. These are reflecting twos. It cares up the actual converted mana cost, which is still a tree up there. It's, you see the note that's been modified. Yeah, let's not miss that trigger. So at least they're not gaining too much life. We'll take a hit off Rankle. If he triggers the discard. Okay, discard and sack, so we'll discard the Regisaur. And we'll sack this. 
which actually gives me two pings, so can't complain about that. Two pings is still relevant. No, I can just play claim the firstborn just to force him to sap. Yeah, we're short on mana. Okay, we. So I don't think he's gonna sack this one quite yet. So let's play our other cat. Yeah, buy ourselves a little time. We'll s we will swing with the Deb mayhem devil. So we will get some bonuses with Aspirant, even though we're not getting the full engine up. Second Mayhem Devil would do the trick. We also note that we've been stuck on land for quite a while. Opponent goes second Witch's Oven, so he could attack. Sack Ran Well, he can't sack the Rankle in response, so he needs to play another creature. He could just sack this Rankle now. Oh. Angrass Rampage, target player sacrifices a creature. Sack Cauldron Familiar. I don't mind sacking the Blood Aspirant. Th that one's not. He's not too inter. Opponent plays Ghost Rider. Now he has. Now he has. A, um. Now he has Father. So we'll take the hit. If we discard, I prob. Okay. I might just discard the Legion's End. Well, claim the first point. Uh, no, because I want to have the option between these two. I'll discard to claim the first point. Then sack these. So we don't get that, but we do get these. Got ourselves a land and got ourselves another aspirant. So, okay, how do we do this? We can't exactly cast this. We can just. You can cast another Mayhem Devil just to. Yeah, because I'm willing to force a trade here. Yeah, let's do it. So we need we're basically trying to punish our opponent for Okay. Opponent can block. He can sack to oven. Or not. Okay, that's fair too. At least we got rid of that. At least we got rid of that. Yeah, in hindsight it probably should not have kept the Opponent does have enough cards to bring back the Woe Strider. We're just Rider first. He won't be able to bring these back. He's down to his last card. Do I have enough damage? His opponent will take hit us. We'll probably just discard the Legion's End at this point. Because um, he only brings one cat out. Draws a card. This. Oh! Each smart player sacks. Face Midnight Reaper. Sacks the Midnight Reaper. Oh, I think he has enough triggers. Yeah, that's good. That's good game. It's just exact, so he takes us down to one and sacks it again. Yeah, that's good game. So very, very close. We yeah, we got stalled on lands for a very long time. Like the concept, just um, just a bit unfortunate on the execution. So this fest, this festival is um not exactly going according to plan, but. These are the games. At least we're actually putting up a fight. This that the games are not exactly go going ham on us this time. So yeah, we need black mana. Opponent takes a mulligan though, so I would 
I will take the lead. Also note that we will draw two cards, so opponents actually so green, so this one will actually Okay, got another red mana and another red mana. So I can play claim the firstborn, swing for a tree, but that's not feel good. Wait. I can swing anyway. Okay, doesn't trigger the block, so he figures I have a shock or a bone crusher giant. So nah, is this what it is? This could be Simic Flash. Starting to look like it. Nope, it's Risen Reef, so definitely an Axel acceleration deck. I definitely have to snipe this. So a PC doesn't accelerate on lands, which kinda a good thing. Okay. We need that black mana. Already striking regret cutting. So at least let's punch in for another two. But opponent's on their way to getting something big, probably an Uro. Actually plenty of possible options. Cab that one. So we really need an oven or aspirant's also a possibility. Why are the cards that are revealed? All lands. Well, except for the growth spiral. We'll take one. Okay, got ourselves a cat, got ourselves a regisaur. Gain control of converted mana cost three or less, so it will not hit Cavalier. The Registrar will will block it to Kingdom Come. We can actually eat. Now my concern is Agent of Treachery. No, we could catch them by surprise by using Claim the First Born on our own Registrar. Even if it's just for a turn. Opponent now uh Agent of Treachery mana. Sorry. Another Arboreal Grazer, so we've dodged the Agent of Treach. Wait, he could still have a land drop. Nope, it's tapped. We dodged the Agent of Treachery. Another Cavalier. Ooh, there's the Agent of Treachery. So I'm actually in the position where I don't want to trade. Okay, because let's see. I trade. He plays Agent of Treachery. You know what? Let's encourage him to play the Agent of Treachery. It will go on top of his deck. No, oh, he's taking the Leaf Kendrew? Wait, what? Okay, what? He didn't take any. Oh, he's planning to buy it back. Okay, so we need to discard the card. He's down to Agonizing Remorse. If we're gonna see it, we're gonna see it. And I need the black, so we'll discard that. Got ourselves another claim. And another red mana. So here's the thing. Okay, if I play claim, claim, it only claims these two. I'm better off just playing a Mayhem Devil. I don't need to hit. Let's just play the Bone Crusher right now. So let's say I swing with this. It will force a trade. Yeah, we probably should try to force a trade. So our opponent might buy back the original Cavalier, which is probably why he did all this. Makes sense. So he said, "Oh, he now he goes for the agent of treachery." Now, note all our creatures are relatively cheap. So even if he treacheries one, we get to borrow it for a turn. Really could use that oven though. 
Oven or Wool Strider? He borrows the Mayhem Devil, which makes sense. Ourselves another Ginger Brute and the Legion's End. Okay, so we'll play the Ginger Brute. We'll play the Legion's End, taking these out. Reveals a Crassus. Probably could have saved it for that. So let's see. Claim the Firstborn. I'm not sure he'll get it back. I'm actually counting on him getting it back. Force him to block. He's not blocking. Down to one. Okay, so we... Opponent will draw a bunch of card... I'm actually hoping that he does play the Crassus. Opponent goes for the six. Yes, because Crassus will always be converted mana cost two. Goes for it! So he's up to five. And no way to sack it. Does he have a way to protect it? He has a blast zone. That's two mana. He plays a Leafkin Druid. Okay, so he now has no way to counter this. Okay. We'll take seven. Opponent will take nine. And we got a blood, blood aspirant in addition. Finally get our second. You know what? Let's play the claim first before we play anything else. Yep, that's game. So far, so good. Our biggest problem is a mirror match, so can't complain too much, I guess. So we got, I guess we have time for yeah, we got we got some time. Let's let's see if we can go get one more game in. Okay, but overall. Yeah, at first I was really concerned that I was gonna be s all, that was all the decks I've been seeing. Turns out there are many, well, there are many possible decks. It's just about um viability, and there's and there is still the concern of what you actually draw. So finally, well, now we now we need red, but I'm willing to keep this one because we we got two turn zero plays. Our opponent is probably gonna play a turn one. Puppet is the worst legions end target, so we're not gonna hit that. Hushbringer is the best Legion's end target. Lockwing Gargoyle is okay. But we're going for the Hushbringer. Funny, that was that was that was my well not these, but that was my game plan too. So we're gonna Legion's end the Hushbringer. Then we're gonna play the Ginger Brute Witch's Oven. Then So opponent's going for the Loxodon plan. So at least he's one creature shy now. And we now got Embred Shieldbreaker. We're probably gonna just target the Gargoyle. Yeah, definitely gonna pass. So our next play is Mountain. We're gonna play. We're gonna play Shieldbreaker. Opponent plays their own Ginger Brute. If he has another ginger boot, well, he can actually play the Loxodon now. Yeah, he's just gonna tap everything down. There's the venerated Loxodon. Convokes it all out. Oh, it costs one less. Yeah, I forgot. So, boosts everything. We're not gonna punch through this guy anytime soon. We can snipe the ginger boot or the Lockwing Gargoyle. That's the plan at least. 
Okay, you got ourselves a blood creep. We'll save that for later. We'll take this snipe the ginger boot. We'll use claim on one of these other guys. Well, definitely the locked wing. I'm not taking a hit, so we'll pass. We can also then play aspirant claim. Yeah, let's get. Yeah, we can get something going. So. There, so at least we have options there. Interesting how, how much big, how much a difference that plus one plus one makes on all these small guys. When I place all that glitter, so now we have a good claim the first more target. So we're definitely blocking one or the other. That's a given. Damage, we will sack it to the oven. So definitely playing aspirant into aspirant into claim. So we'll take seven damage. Let's draw us another aspirant. We'll, we're gonna do it one at a time. And a claim. So hold on. Ginger boots free. We'll do the blood aspirants one at a time, so. Because we need to... I can also just um I could also just block with the ginger brew, take the hit, block inquisitive puppet, take the hit sack. We want to encourage our opponent to play the second all that glitters so that he's inevitably gonna have in hand. Okay. It's a bit of a risk. We're take we're taking an ungodly amount of damage. Opponent Oh, could get flying. Wait, if he gets flying, he can't sp Okay, if he gets flying, he can't um he can't um put another all that glitter, so that's okay too. Cause it doesn't affect the activate abilities. This will always cost four. There's the four mana. There's another inquisitive puppet. Oh yeah, I forgot inquisitive puppet was zero two on paper. Yeah, you can view the printed card now, so that's very that's nice. Oh, goes for the flying. Okay. Eight. Yeah, sure. So I can claim the firstborn swing in response. Oh, it's just going for that. Okay. Yeah, sack that. Yeah, let's start buffing these guys up as soon as possible. I might even have to take two just to be able to sack this to get three. Okay, we've got Cauldron Familiar, so that might change things in our Blood Crypt. Okay, buy some time. Take the Lockwing Gargoyle now. So 5'8's still good enough. Now in theory I could swing with everything. But no, I need to save that sack trigger. So we're swinging with just the gargoyle. Opponent might... Okay, opponent's gonna take the hit. Sack the gargoyle. Get ourselves two food tokens, which is nice. And I'm not... And because our health is quite low, I'm not going to... I'm, I'm not going to play the Shield Breaker. I'm, I'm probably going to need to sack that sack of food token. So the nice thing is I can actually just chump block with the Familiar. I'll save the Life's Bounty. Okay, that's a sacrifice trigger. Hope we can get our Mayhem Devil. Actually, all those food tokens place another all that glitters. Now, here's the thing. Oh! He could. That was it? Okay, that was fast. I didn't expect our opponent to concede so badly. I thought we were going to have to grind our way through this. But we got the win, and we got the... 
and we got the nice nice cosmetics anyway that's it for this episode of the magic arena run if you like what you saw please don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications and whatnot yes some the difficulty starting ramp up a little bit especially if you haven't tried things out but don't be discouraged there's technically plenty of time to go on the um, um to do these um festivals you only need three wins i i remember if you've seen my previous videos you know i was complaining a little bit but i'm coming around to maybe three actually okay maybe four f no five might be a bit too much for some people four three well maybe three to four is not bad anyway that's it for this episode thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you guys again next time take care god bless have a great week everyone take care